the main goal of my project is to build a potential AIDS vaccine. And the way in which we do that is we take uh, human rhinovirus type 14, and it's the cold causing virus, and we manipulate that virus, and we take a piece of what's called CCR5, and it's this co-receptor that you need that's absolutely crucial to HIV infection. And we take a piece of CCR5, and we add it to the HRV14. The best viruses are chosen with antibodies that work against CCR5, and these antibodies will select against the best viruses that do that. If you block CCR5 properly, you prevent pre infection. You're not really preventing against HIV, you're preventing against a co-receptor that's on your T cells. So this is, you're actually preventing against something that you have already. The main problem that we have in making a vaccine is that it's very difficult to select against HIV, to make a vaccine against HIV itself. Because it mutates, you have multiple strains, and even if you make a vaccine against one strain, it'll mutate again. Currently, I am growing the viruses, and now that I have multiple millions and millions of viruses, I have to select against them. Once you actually have made a bunch, maybe you have a handful of actually, maybe five viruses that actually worked, that actually select selectively bound to the CCR5 antibodies. Um, even if you have those five, you actually have to be able to test it against something. So what we can do is we can test it against HIV. Um, and the way we do that is we actually take the viruses that we've made and we inject them into guinea pigs. And then we see if that's actually worked. That can be difficult. So actually uh, the big thing that we're doing in our lab is we're making a pseudovirus. So it's supposed to mimic HIV, but it's not actually HIV. We have a lot of people in our lab um, it's mainly split up into um, drug-based research and vaccine-based research. So in the vaccine lab, we actually have a lot of similar setup. We're all using HRV14 for the most part. And the way we're altering it, like what piece we're actually putting into the virus, differs amongst us all. The research has really broadened my horizons. Like it's really helped me uh, get things in perspective. Um, you know, I could be walking to class and worrying about schoolwork and then it's like, you know what, I really should be in lab, I have to get my experiment done. So it's taught me to become more professional, more responsible, and uh, it's made me think about other fields of like science that I'd be interested in. My advisor is Dr. Gail for Standing Arnold. I got involved through the Arresti Summer Science Program, and I stayed after the summer, and I've been there for nearly a year now. She gives me a lot of freedom, so I have to thank her for that because that gives me a lot of responsibility. Um, so I pretty much do uh, whatever I'm supposed to do for the day, and then if I run into a problem, that's when I speak to Gail, and she checks in. We have weekly meetings, and she's very accessible. She always makes time for me, so she's really great, and she also gives me you know, my space too, which I really like.